What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? We live. You know what it is. It's the homeboys conversation. We about to get it all. We're gonna give a few people some chance to like uh get rid of. Let me post. Yeah. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know we got the regular rotation. We got our boy Angel. We got our man T. Hey, yo, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> we do. Whatever. We got Scott Curry from the 30. <laughs> He's not from, from the 30. He's from the 30. We always, always got a mess with him. Hey, he I'm going to have a 30. He 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 ain't have a hookah at home, so he figured he'd go out to a hookah bar in order for him to like get his hookah on while he uh uh get into the movie. What's up, Shabon? Now, the, night, the night this movie is King Kong versus Godzilla. This is uh, slightly a remake. Uh, came out back in 1963, Godzilla versus King Kong. But of course, the action and everything. What in this phenomenon is, uh, you know, this movie. But, uh, you know, we what we try to do before each and every movie, we try to give like a uh, pre-claim, uh, you know, let everybody know how the movie was before y'all look to us so we, like, give you a spoiler alert. So, without any further ado, Fiona, is this movie a must-watch? Is it a must-watch if you're a King Kong and Godzilla fan? Is this just a waste to come on TV, or is it just a waste of time? Um, it's a it's a must-watch if you're a King Kong fan. If you're not a King Kong fan, it's it's something just to wait for TV or uh download it or something. But it's not a must must watch to me. <laughs> What's up, Jay? Hey, yo. Is it a must watch? Is it a King Kong must watch? Is it a waste of wait to get on TV type? Or is it just a waste of time? I think it's a must watch if you like action movies. There's a lot of rumbling in this thing. I'm mad. I'm knocking niggas out. <laughs> How do you feel? Is it a must watch? Is it a must watch for King Kong fans? Or is it is a waste of time? Or is it a must watch? It's a must watch. You gotta watch it. You follow the Godzilla. Okay. I actually think. Okay. I think it's more of a must watch if you're a King Kong fan. It was it was just okay to me. I'm gonna just yeah, I'm gonna I just agree. say that. Yeah, it was just okay. If you're a King Kong and Godzilla fan, yeah, Siobhan, the, the yeah, they Curry always got something, 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 something extra in the background. Yeah, need to go outside. He blew me. I ain't tell you what loud. Come on. Here we go. Let let let's kick it off. Now at the beginning of the movie, y'all y'all all see the movie play. You know the movie star a guy named uh, uh Bernie Hayes. Bernie Hayes was like a I think he had a podcast, but he was I guess he was conspiracy theory. The movie starts off with him starting his podcast like we do each and every Thursday. Um, he goes into APAC. Uh, facility and as he, as he goes into APAC's facility, he ends up trying to steal some documents. I found it funny how he happened to just come upon the white guy and just started, you know, talking to him, whispering in it, started just doing all this strange stuff. I mean, <laughs> in reality, if we were that white guy, <laughs> would have been your reaction this guy all up on you, touching up on you? Feeling on your nerves, baby. T, how you feel? I don't like people even standing behind me for too long. So it would have been a major issue. And we at work, so I'm finding a couple of places on your ass. Because you shouldn't be this close to you. Making me paranoid. It probably would have ended in a fight. King Kong and Godzilla wouldn't have been the only people fighting. <laughs> hey, yo. This man come up on you. He just started his name. 
Hey, hey, I, I want to start to see this because maybe you're not paying attention. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Did you see that? I know yeah. three. Yeah, we talking to you. Yeah. Mute your phone when yeah, you're not talking. Phone when you're not talking. Look at we got sucking, got licking fingers. Like, <laughs> right, yeah. I'm yeah, gonna call you. Uh, uh, Thank you, Siobhan. Yeah, forever the forever the genius yeah. that you are. All the time. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, this guy come up on you acting weird. He up there messing around with you, like yeah. you know. What's your what's your next move? We're in 2021. We have been through a lot this year. I'm sad, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> he had the connection coming up with the quickness. I've seen too much in my life. Let me be going on. I'm going to say, you know, you get sad. <laughs> Stack you got to take it a step farther than me, huh? I'm, I'm, I understand. I understand. I'm going to out the knife at work. He went with a knife out at work. <laughs> It's all me at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stacks Curry. Yeah. You know this guy I'll ball up on you while you while you at work, man. He all up in your he he invading your private space, man. Like, you know, I guess he could he could try that with a white guy. What have been your next move with your co-workers calling up on you, pushing up on you, man? How you talking about that? Now you know my next move, man. If I feel violent, it'll in danger. Me, man. Mr. Uh, I already knew he was about to say, man. I say, sir, you made my face. I feel threatened now while I'm working. And you know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a warning right now about telling you. So I gave you a warning and you stop faking it again, man. There's no more talking after that. But you know he had a mic for him, right? You got the knife, but bro, I'm gonna say he's gonna have a new salary position now. Now, now, I just want my two guys here. Let me get a new worker now. What's scary about when the like me? I, I think me, I'm. I, I, I really would have got real like irritated. I do not like people like too much in my close space. It would have really irritated me. That would have caused the fight. I, I think I'd have lost my job. Like that's, that, that's, that's, that's like. Like, we, when we be outside, we be yeah. outside in red. Somebody, I be mean, noticing somebody will talk to you, and if they like real close to you, you'll do this little thing when you get the leader. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you get know you do it, but you do this little thing. You get the leader like, like this. Yeah, because a lot of them out there do it. They seem like they got to get real close to you to talk, and I just be like, yeah, man, like I don't like that. <laughs> I, mean, I got, I got, in I my head, I'm laughing. I smell. Like some sometimes you've been outside all day. If you brush your teeth that morning, and you've been outside all day. A lot of times they ain't brush their teeth during the doing so. You know their breath kind of smell too. But I I'm like oh you know give me a, give me some room like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as the movie came down, you know as the movie started, they uh he ended up getting a little information. How he got the information, you know the alarm came off. You know, after the alarm go off, you know, the guy running. Now, at first, I thought the guy was idiot. But I thought one of the smartest moves he done during the whole movie, when he started running, they evacuating, and then all of a sudden, he hear level two security this way. He realized these were the people above them, and he started following them. I'm just wondering, <laughs> Stacks, we're going to start with you since you got in the low. We're saying, what are you following, you know, the CEOs and the, the people in the higher class? Level two this way, level one, like, y'all keep going. What's your next move? Nah, but see, you on a mission, though, because he's doing his own podcast, so, like, all that shit going now, you kind of what, what this company really wants. See, I couldn't really hear Stacks, but clearly you're gonna have to fight. You might have to. Pick I kind of, I kind of heard what he said. I kind of heard what he said. Um, but what I, what I was gonna say was, I'm gonna do what he did. 
and follow the people from level two because one, they always gonna try to save the more important assets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and follow them. You know what I mean? And secondly, I'm gonna piggyback on what Stack said. The dude, he was a conspiracy theorist. Uh, he had the podcast. So his first instinct is to follow the most important people because he feel like they going somewhere where nobody else knows about. So let me go get this scoop. You know what I'm saying? So he right on both on both fronts. So I'm following level two. <laughs> okay. Hey yo, what you doing? Level two going left. Level 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 one and everybody else is going the opposite way. What's your move? You know what, GTA, I like to do everything sneaky. So I'm trying to get up in there with them. <laughs> See, I'm the only one who don't like to do sneaky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to... <laughs> no, listen, no. listen. <laughs> and, and before I went with level two, I probably would have stole some stuff just in case, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't come back to work. I'm going to steal some shit and sell it just in case I need to pay rent. I'm going to level two because I feel like you know, if level two, if they if these they try to say their best asset, they're not thinking about us. Godzilla, Godzilla has attacked the facility. They trying to save the people who they can save. Mm -hmm. Everybody else just like, like I'm I'm following level two. I'm, I'm to me, I, I think level two. They they be basically saying, hey, this is the way out. The way y'all going is not it. They like, sacrificing I'm, them. That, that's what they do. That's how I feel. That's how I yeah. feel like they sacrifice these people, yo. That's how I feel. I feel exactly like that. Now, when the hey, movie, Red, you know, Jamie like Jamie like stacks might as well not even talk. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I I didn't even want to highlight it. <laughs> I said I'm not going to highlight her comment. <laughs> he can read. <laughs> so as, as the movie, you know, continue to go on, um, uh, the guy actually, he sees something. He sees this red, what he guesses is a red light or something, but it looked like a face or whatever. Um, he get out. One of the things that is, is not really into the movie, but it seems to be how movies are in the whole. Movies always seem to, which I always hate. Um, the young lady, uh, Madison Russell, you know, it's always, I always find it curious or weird that somebody who's high up in the government or high up on some type of person food chain, that their kids is always the one who be more of a conspiracy theory and find a way and, and want to get in the middle of stuff. Did y'all know, like her father, uh, what's the guy name? Uh, 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 Mark Russell. Her father was Mark Russell, and he was like, you know, the guy who, you know, I guess he was high up in the government or something like that. Do y'all is that little role getting played out that the that the father of somebody high in the government, the kid is always the star type scenario? Tioma. Um, to be honest, I, I never really noticed it like that. I well, I noticed it, but I never really paid too much attention to it because I was too into the movie. But I mean shit, I don't know. It don't bother me because like I said, I didn't really pay no attention to it. So I mean maybe for y'all it's irritating. Yeah. <clears throat> uh uh hey yo do you do you feel some no, type of way where it's always that came? The government is always doing stuff like that. That's why I'm just used to it. I'm just used to it. They always experiment and doing stuff they don't do. And then they child even doing worse. <laughs> it starts I, I think it was like... I, I, it looked like... Hmm? I'm saying it looked like he left. Oh, okay, okay. See, I always had a problem that I, I always watch a lot of these movies. And I, I, I stopped. I, I stopped to feel like it's starting to be played out. That storyline of the father being high in the government, the father, the president, or the father, the uh, doctor, or the father is the head leader or something, and their kid is always this. They try to say you're a sign. Do I? You say what? They try to say you're a sign. <laughs> a sign? Yeah, but I'm just yeah, wondering why the kid is always their kid is always the next in line. Well, 
Maybe what maybe that right? kid owes the next line because they have like a um <clears throat> a up close and personal view of everything that's going on. Because you notice the kid is always the one to rebel and go against what the parents doing. So maybe that's why they make the kids the 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 hero or heroine or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Because they they see him. The, the bad stuff that's really going on. And if they made somebody else the hero or whatever, it wouldn't really be as complex because they don't know what's really going on. But the kids seeing everything firsthand. I don't know because the kids still ain't really seeing everything. The kid just seemed like she just do not believe in everything that's going on. Like, my, but the, my father's inside the government. My father's The kid the was home. everywhere with the mother. Huh? The kid was everywhere with the mother. Helicopter, she was in the little uh laboratory. No, I'm talking about the young girl Madison, the one that had the little the fat guy Josh. They was friends that actually went looking for uh went looking for yeah. uh, uh Bernie, like but yeah, I that was her mother. No, 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 the father, the, the guy, the father was the dude Mark Russell, he was the guy that like uh was was head of like some type of like security system. Like, remember the white guy? Yeah. He was like the, he you, was like the head of something like government or something that, that had to get... Remember, he had to take a plane to Hong Kong when they started going. Do you remember the, the mother work, what was working with uh, some dude, too? She but was the one who was, was her waking them up. That lady was her mother who was waking the uh, monsters up. Oh, I didn't know that. That was her mother. That's what I'm saying. She was there through everything with oh, the mother. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I how she I was able to sabotage stuff. Oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> as the movie kept going, they uh, you know, it, it ended up being a big conspiracy. Uh, the young girl, she ended up going to find the guy Bernie. She let him know, man, I've been listening to your podcast this and third. She took a little fat friend with it. Y'all know it's always a fat friend that wanna <laughs> follow along. <laughs> and all the new movies, it's always mm -hmm. this hero, and then it's this fat friend that they see. <laughs> Now, they and I ain't got love. nothing against fat people. Yeah, I ain't got nothing against fat people. But there's always this little fat friend that's willing to follow along. Now, the fat friend, they 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 end up finding Bernie. They end up sneaking back into a lab that Godzilla had just destroyed. Don't know why you would want to sneak into something like that, but A, to each his own. So they end up sneaking back into the lab, and they end up getting in what looks like some type of... Uh, ship or something like that or, or whatever and they end up getting shipped off to japan right <laughs> so disrespectful <job. laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he mean, got yeah. a point though the fat yeah. they, had a point. they do yeah, have a fat true. friend they always have a fat friend so so as they as they uh as they get to japan to me i felt it strange that I just went from Florida to Japan, and now I'm still on the hunt. I mean, hey yo, you 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 get out the you get out the rocket ship or however you got there, and you in Japan. What is your next goddamn move? Mm. Hey, probably go gambling, yeah. honestly. I heard, <laughs> I, yeah, I said probably go gambling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go gambling if I go to Japan, but if I'm in that situation, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on the hunt. Okay, I'm still on but, the hunt. Yeah. But me, my yeah, son, I'm going know. gambling. I'm going, I'm going to the card table. You know where I'm going. 21 black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tiama, you end up, you walk out the ship and you, it's all of a sudden you in Japan. Like, what's your I'm next kinda, move? I'm kind of. In the same boat as, as AO, but I'm not gonna be gambling. What I'm gonna do is try to find where they make them fake Jordans at and purchase a couple pairs. Maybe hop back on the ship, fly back to the hood and sell them. You know, made that's that's where they made at. So I'm trying to get a come up right now. So you I just traveled. I just took I just went from where were they at LA? No, I think they was in uh they was in Florida. How, well, how fast did they get Florida. there? I went from Florida to Japan in 30 seconds. How fast did they get there? It was about a yeah, minute. I mean, one minute. Like or something. I mean, not, but Listen, like, when I first saw the little uh thing they was in and it started going, right. I said, they got that for real. 
I'm I know they got that for real somewhere <laughs> on the ground. I know they do. I know yeah. they do too. I swear yeah. to God, I know they do. Oh look, they, they, that's they the underground on this thing, right? Oh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> they about to tap our phones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they like be, they gonna be like they know too much. That yeah. Thing, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't know y'all got it for real. Like, <laughs> but oh. that's where I think you get. <laughs> You get off, I, I get off a ship. I'm in. I'm, I get off a ship. I end up in Florida. I get off a ship. I'm in Japan. I'm thinking. What my mind sitting is here. I ain't got my passport. How am I gonna get home? I'm just what? wondering. What <laughs> nobody thought. What? How the heck you gonna yeah. get down? That boy, yeah, I, I got my passport. Huh? You come to gamble? gamble. That's oh, I'm they gonna tap Jamie phone too. Most of the movies I read. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. well, look, Jamie, it looked like you uh, just man. you just implicated yourself in this yeah. government tap that's about to happen. <laughs> so don't be surprised when they tap your phone as well. Now, as the movie kept going, you know, they, they start coming up, uh they start trying to uh figure out how uh you know I, I didn't get to the part where you know Godzilla came back out of hiding, he ended up destroying uh, uh an Apex facility in Florida, and now they're trying to figure out how we're going to be able to defeat uh, Godzilla. So they they talked about this uh, world called the Hollow Hollow Earth. So they was trying to say, well, maybe if we can get the Hollow Earth, we can figure out a way to actually kill Godzilla. So they was like, well, no man has actually went through it and actually survived. And they found out, you know, we actually got away. But they was like, maybe if we can get King Kong down Hollow Earth. You know, he can show us the way and actually, you know, help us do it. You know, they end up getting King Kong. When they get King Kong, they actually, uh, uh, when they get King Kong, they got him on a boat. As they as they kept going, they started, uh, they, they all of a sudden, the alert came off that, uh, what's they say? They didn't eat or use the bathroom, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they already knew what they was doing. And thinking, yeah, anyway, yeah. So as they as they got King Kong, they kept they kept going and they got King Kong handcuffed. The alert come in, Godzilla must notice what they said, another Titan is in the waters. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Godzilla is coming for him. Now, the 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 lady, I, I I'm sorry I didn't get her name, but she basically was like, Hey, man, let 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 King Kong out them chains, man. You know, uh, Godzilla coming. He need to defend himself. You know, the the white guy. He was kind of like, nah, because if we lose Godzilla, we lose everything. In my mind, off the top, I figured y'all in the middle of the ocean. Like, where's King Kong going? But they they felt like keep him handcuffed because it won't be safe for nobody. In in my, I'm just wondering y'all opinion. Do y'all feel like they took the handcuffs off, off King Kong? A little too late, like they because basically the ship was already flipped over and everything. You think they should have took the hand calls off on King Kong off the jump? I do. Gee, you raise I, your do, I do feel like they I feel like they should have took them off when the lady first said take them off. But I want to say this though. I've been waiting for this question right here. <laughs> when I watched this movie and I saw that part, I felt a little mad. I feel some racism <laughs> in that part of the movie. I did too. You gonna go I get this? Too. This you gonna go get this monkey from over in his in his land? Chain him up on a boat and bring him across somewhere where he don't have no idea what's going on. Then you know black people don't like water. He's scared to jump in the water with Godzilla. You see how fast he hopped back on that boat when he fell in that water? Come on now. They was trying to they were trying to pull some racial cords right there. It worked. <laughs> Jamie said, yeah, they set him up. Yeah. Hey yo, how do you feel about that part, they, man? Was they playing around? They 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 did they did King Kong very dirty. If I was King Kong, I wouldn't have helped their ass. I would have <laughs> what I would have did, I would knocked them on I would have knocked them on Tasha real quick and swim to the land. But you know, he huh? he for real, for real, he ain't even care about them. He was trying to save the little girl. 
Yeah. He wasn't worried about nobody else for real, for real. Yeah. They use they use her. They use her. They, they did. Like, we gotta keep this little girl with us. <laughs> or else we gonna die they did. like everybody else around us. They, they, everybody they, around they us little, die. Like I need that little girl, girl with me die. too. Yeah, I need I, I needed that little girl. If if that had been me, I'd have went everywhere she went. Like he, I would have followed her all the way around. White lady? Uh, yeah, but no, the little girl knew how to talk to him. Like the girl taught him sign language. Like I would have, yeah. I'd have had to follow the little girl everywhere. I'd have literally befriend the mess out of that little girl. Like you, what do you want? Do you need anything? Like <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up. Uh, hold on, Kelly. <laughs> Javon said that little girl was so fresh and she had the best class. Like, yes, she did. You fucking shit, A.O. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I said, hold on, He Kelly. says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right, you heard a yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's what it was, yeah. Sharon said they, sh they sure did use that little girl. <laughs> yeah, because that's the only way they was going to be able to get her like into the, I mean, get Godzilla to do what he want. So now let me ask y'all this. I feel like the the first fight was kind of uh, in favor of Godzilla because it was in water. But do y'all think that that battle should have went a little different from the get go? Hey yo, you feel like that first battle that they when they met up with each other it should have been a little different because Godzilla did jump on that boat at one time. And and King Kong caught him with a couple of good hooks. Like, <laughs> what did you think about that first battle from both of them? Yeah. I I feel like you know Godzilla got the advantage in water. King Kong can is not. He is a nigga. He can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got it. He got in that water. Was like, no, grab the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need the the, he spit out a baby river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, yeah. oh, damn. He said, Ugh. I was like, oh, you that you <laughs> up with that. <laughs> Yo, how do you feel about that first battle? <laughs> I already knew King Kong was gonna get what? I told what? you. He don't like water. Just like they know. And you fighting a, a lizard that can swim and shoot fire out his mouth. <laughs> King Kong just got the hands, man. At the time, I think that was cheating. He had no weapons. I, that was cheating. No that fire was cheating. That fire was yeah, cheating. Yeah, that's dirty. That yeah, they did my man dirty. That's they listen. That's what they do. Uh -huh. they, they put you in the same race. They put you in the same race, but the other team got more advantages, and they expect you to come out on the same level as the other team. Hell no. Nah. He got lasers and shit. I just got my hands. Of course, I'm going to get my ass whooped. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I, I enjoyed the first. I just felt like even even still, because because King Kong got some good punches out on him. King Kong kind of like caught him with a couple of Tyson joints. But I felt like hey. they ain't really saved Godzilla. I ain't really like that because I felt like Godzilla should have been sleep off a couple of them hooks. That was yeah, my that right own hand was dumb. He huh? should have. I would. That right hand when he got up. Anybody up with the oh, That job was shot. I was anybody like, anybody up with Yeah. That man, that yeah, man took okay. a couple of good joints and Godzilla like ate them joints and then came back. I'm like, nah, come on, man. You can't right. make King Kong look like he, he that weak. That man lifting up, throwing whole trees through like ceilings. That man ain't that weak. Hong uh, Kong. He destroyed yeah. Hong Kong. Don't get with that. He destroyed the whole day. Mm -mm. <laughs> so the movie kept going. The movie, you know, uh, the, the uh, Godzilla, y'all seen it? Godzilla destroyed the boats. So basically now they had no way of getting to Hollow Earth. So, you know, they end up getting planes and actually turn Godzilla to another, uh, I guess, another interest. They end up putting them out in basically, uh, uh, what is that, uh, where were they at? In, Ad in uh, Antarctica. So basically King Kong definitely could not survive in no daggone, you know, in that cold, frigid air. So basically, you know, they, they convinced the little girl and almost basically lied to her and her. told her, <clears throat> what'd you say? I said they tricked her. 
Yeah, but they, I, yeah, tricked her, but they lied to her and told her that, uh, and told her that, you know, Kong family possibly could be down there because they were trying to convince Kong to go. When Kong, at first, Kong was like, nah, I ain't falling for the needle in the haystack. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't falling for no, the banana tailpipe. I ain't, I ain't going for that. Like, I ain't about to get that one. But then, you know, she ended up telling him that her family was, his family possibly could be down there. And Kong, like, took off. Boom. Now, what now, when they got to Hollow Earth, boom, they hit the ground. What did y'all think about Hollow Earth when y'all first seen it? Like, this is my first time, you know, I've, I've watched King Kong and Skull Island has always been King Kong home as long as I've been watching it. So what did y'all think when they when they got y'all to Hollow Earth? Was it anything y'all expected? Hey, yo. Definitely not. I would have tried to go back if I was him. I was like, can I go back to Hollow Earth? <laughs> That like, it looked wild. The whole thing looked wild to me. It it looked like it was hell or something. Like not, the, <laughs> yeah. not how you think it would look. Yeah, it Cause it, uh, everybody know how you supposed to think it probably look. It lost me. Like yeah, I yeah. actually got confused at that part of the movie, like how everything flipped upside down. I'm like, what the? Like I ain't know what was going on. So it kind of lost me at that on that scene. But then I bounced back when they. When they start fighting the little like monsters or whatever face. down there, yeah, yeah, I I actually like, like it. I, you know what what Hollow Earth I, actually reminded me of. It kind of put me in the mindset of uh, uh Avatar, like the movie Avatar. Mm. Like so, mm -hmm. I once I seen it, I was like, oh, this look familiar. Mm -hmm. Like that mm -hmm. old look, like the planets, like like over top. Yeah. You no, know, when I seen it, I that was, was good. Excited. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I was excited to see it. It reminded me every time one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, I thought that was the greatest 3D movie ever created because I felt like oh. I was in that movie when I seen it. Whereas we ain't going to talk about your opinion in the movie. So we can yeah, you kind of shady my, with my it. Opinion, if y'all don't think Avatar is one of the greatest <laughs> movies, a top 10 movie, then y'all definitely, <laughs> definitely don't have a good opinion. I ain't saying okay. top 10. Top ten, maybe I top, top, top ten. Five. Me, I can watch it all the time. Hey, teach us all. Watch it, but it ain't top ten. We gonna we gonna stick to King Kong. We are gonna talk about Avatar another day. So <laughs> so as as they go on, did anybody? Yeah, see, hey, bam, there you go, Jay. I'm gonna highlight that. Yeah, I didn't say it was bad. <laughs> yeah. So so let me ask y'all this because I you know when they hit Hollow Earth. Did any one of y'all think that y'all was going to see some more, I guess you could call it that, but like King Kong or Queen Kong? <laughs> Did anyone y'all thought he was going to find some family when he got there? Tioma, how you felt? Hell no. I, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't think he was going to find no family down there. Like, I don't even think that would have played in good with the movie at this point for him to find family. Because if he would have found family, he probably wouldn't even want to leave. Then what you gonna do? So I ain't expecting to find no family down there. Hey yo, did you think he was gonna find some family down there? <clears throat> no, especially if the Americans are gone. Do you think they really want more King Kong? They can't even handle him. It's <laughs> one of him. Just think of it as a whole race <laughs> of them down there. They gonna come up, up here and take over. <laughs> Plan out of the I <laughs> Jamie said she did. Siobhan said she did. Yeah. I, I honestly, I thought it was going to be, I really thought it was going to be some more King Kongs down there. I really thought that when he got down there, you were going to see like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it, it could, I don't know about King Kong, but I, I don't know. I just felt like he could have had some type of help down there. And oh no, something else other than just having the axe. He went <laughs> home and got his axe. Yeah, but I, I just, I just felt like it should have been. That was enough. <laughs> it was enough. Evidently, it wasn't. Uh, that said, that part wasn't even relevant. He went home to get an axe. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I don't know. I just, I, I wish he'd have had some more help. If it was a game that ain't showed up, yeah, at least some, some small animals like, you know what I'm saying? Something else. I, I don't know. I, I just, you know, I, I mean, hey, hey. Can I, can so, I ask y'all a question? Who? Go ahead. You, Avery, and the people watching. 
Cause I had a problem with this. Do y'all have a? Do y'all feel like they kind of like humanized King Kong a little too much? Like they took away some of his savagery, and I didn't like that. He seemed a little soft to me. Where I feel like he should have been more a little more aggressive at certain points. I well. Um, yeah, I, I do. I feel like they did. I think if you if you look at, uh, you know, Skull Island that they just done, like a lot of movies that they done. Yeah, I think they try to they try to make they try to make him a little more, I guess, relatable to us in, in a way. You know, they, they always say monkeys is the closest thing to, uh, you know, humans. So I guess in a way they did try that. Hey, yo. They did the same thing they did to King Kong. They did the Hulk. After he got his ass, they made him a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't talk about Hulk like that, bro. I'm not I'm talking about the Hulk they like that. The same, they did it the same way. Nah, y'all. I'm gone. I, I, I honestly thought about that. <laughs> he didn't yeah, did. He started talking and shit. This nigga thought, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Hey, a good, a good woman, a good woman to have you doing some stuff you ain't know you could do. Hey, you funny as all the way. A good spanking, you ain't never got beat as a kid, and that's all you could do is <laughs> Like, you probably never popped you with a bell, and you still do it. And at the face. <laughs> 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 No, I, I wasn't doing that. I was like this when I was a child. Stop it. You start doing, doing sign language. Your mother beat you. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that said they made him and the gorilla friends. One of them should have died. Yeah. Uh, so, so now let's get, let's, let's, so now, uh, uh, I guess you know Godzilla. He he sensed that King Kong was uh I guess back in his kingdom in some way. So Godzilla do what Godzilla did. He actually shot a hole through the world and just went back, you know, and and shot a hole through the world. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> King Kong took out through the hole. The big climax about the movie was the fight with Godzilla and King Kong on there. You know that that battle right there. Now I don't know. I don't. I don't have too much to say about that. But I'm just wondering about y'all. Who did y'all think? Now we all know. Like I said, if you watch the movie, you know who won the fight at that particular time. Do you think it was a fair fight? Do you did the person victorious that you felt like should have been victorious? Do you feel like the fight should have been a little different? Tioma, how do you feel about that last fight with them two? What I tell you before we got on this podcast, Ray? <laughs> I, I told you the joke. Uh, the joke messed up. What? All I know is they jumped the little oh, oh, robot. Oh, dude, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, yo. My <laughs> yeah, I told you what the joke messed up. Be. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. How did you feel about the last fight scene at the uh, on the last one with him and King Kong? You feel like it was fair? Yeah, but you know he can't he can't do shit when he was getting too close to the water for me. But I was watching, I was like, get away from that damn water. <laughs> he went in the damn water. <laughs> he in the damn water. I thought King Kong would win and it would be clear. I me personally, and that's that you know, the fight happened, you know, King Kong came out with his axe. His axe actually shielded uh Godzilla blow when, when Godzilla was uh Shooting this is burst with him, and it actually shielded him. Me personally, I didn't like that part because Godzilla whooped him down and literally, literally done some old little boy stuff to him by putting his foot on his chest and yelled in his face. And 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 King Kong kind of like submitted, you know. And I I really thought that I really thought King Kong posed that beat him. I really, I really thought that King Kong, I, because now I got his axe, 
And I just felt like, you know, King Kong was stronger. King Kong got both hands. King Kong's a monkey. He can jump. He can grab. Mm. He can use his feet. I felt like King Kong definitely had, King Kong definitely should have been able to beat him. Um, but when you when you kept going, as you as you kept going, uh King Kong and you know, King Kong basically about to die. They gotta like, you know, give us how to jump, basically like, you know, uh like a like a human and give us right. but at the same right. time, uh uh what's that uh, uh Mega Godzilla, which was the robot, actually came out. The Mega Godzilla actually end up turning on basically his his makers he ended up killing the head the ceo of apex he ended up killing the guy who was basically uh controlling him uh by his mind files with the uh uh machine that he was using and he ended up turning on everybody but he ended up fighting godzilla now he's beating godzilla's tail like with with no remorse <laughs> like he's crushing godzilla um, as King Kong, you know, King Kong wakes up, they, they supercharge his heart. If you King Kong, you get up, you see the dude to just beat the brakes off you getting the brake beat off him. T, do you get up and help the dude to just whoop the brakes off you? We whoop the brakes off you in front of everybody? Like, what's your next move, T? Or do you think King Kong should have waited? Waited till he killed Godzilla and then went after the robot. I'm just like, Ew. am I am I speaking as myself or am I speaking as King as, as Kong? As Kong, if like, I'm speaking, hey. well, if I'm speaking as Kong, and if I do wait in the and Mega Godzilla kill Godzilla, Mega Godzilla gonna really crush me because Godzilla dogged me. Yeah. Now, <laughs> if I'm speaking as myself, I'm gonna get up. And I'm gonna help Mega Godzilla get a couple punches in, and then I'm gonna take my black ass back in that hole because <laughs> there's no win for me up here. I'm gonna go where I can win. I'm gonna roll out. No need for me. Hey yo, you you the dude that whipping your whipped your butt like literally killed you. If they don't give you a heart transplant, he literally killed you. You wake up, all of a sudden you see him getting his butt whooped. Do you jump in the fight? Or do you sit there and just go about your merry way? Like, I mean, what you gonna do? I'm gonna sit there and watch for a minute. I'm like, he gotta get his ass with <laughs> <in> too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna wait like five minutes when he getting a remix. He getting remixed. I'm like, okay. Hold on, hold on. He's doing too much. I'm gonna go in there <laughs> and grab the axe, slice him. It's over. I said he was five fossil and five robot. Me personally, me personally, I'm 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 kind of up in the air because if you just whoop me, even though the little girl, you know, sign language gave him that, you know, that that this dude is friend, this dude just beat the brakes off me. I don't think I wanna, I don't, I don't think I wanna help the dude who, that just whooped me. Because just in case this dude like snap back on, he might try to whoop me again. And I, <laughs> if I can't whoop him, <laughs> if I can't whoop him, then, like, so it's like, it's like, why am I about to help this dude out when the dude just beat the brakes on me? But the each is on. I guess in the, at the end result, again, we got to remember they used that little girl. That little girl was like all he cared about. And, and we all know, you know the history of King Kong movies. Y'all all know that King Kong always had him a, a, a woman that he was chasing, that he was always in love with, that he always kind of cherished. So if y'all know that about him, y'all know that the little girl kind of was like his heart at that particular time. So, you know, they used him. You know, last but, you know, uh, you know and final question. At the end of the movie, uh, you know, if y'all like I said, if you're watching in the movie, uh, you know, King Kong and Godzilla teamed up. They actually destroyed the uh, the robot. You know, Godzilla shot his boom to the to the to the axe, where actually helped King Kong. Cause King Kong probably wouldn't have beat him by itself anyway. King helped King Kong actually beat the uh, you know uh, Mega Godzilla. <clears throat> the part that got me in the movie, which I thought was strange to me. At the end of the movie, 
The father leaves whatever facility he's at. The daughter leaves their facility. Did anybody did, did anybody find that strange that the father was not surprised that the daughter supposed to have been in Florida but happened to be in Japan where he at? Like, hey, yo, did you find that surprising? Like, he just act like he know his daughter is in Japan. Like, your daughter was just at school yesterday. Like, I'm just saying, did you find that unusual? Was that strange? <laughs> yes, white, but it wasn't that strange to him because white people's kids is always planting bombs and making master plans to shoot up shit. <laughs> 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 you know they always in there, bro. Mom! Mom! Come on! Hey, yo, I mean, tell me, would you have found that yeah. strange all of a sudden your daughter end up in Japan? Like, she was at school yesterday in Florida. Then all of a sudden she's in Japan. Like, who does that? No, I wouldn't have found it strange because she was, her ass is bad. She's been bad for three <laughs> movies now. That's to be expected. She you never listened what? to his act. She's been bad for three movies now. Ain't shit changed. She hard headed. She I wouldn't expect her to be uh, yeah. still in school. I, I would have known her ass was going to be in Japan. If it's some shit going down, my daughter badass is dead. It's probably her fault. <laughs> That's the part of the way he thinks. Sharon said, yeah, LOL, yeah, I was mad about that. Like what kind of person is that exactly? <laughs> yeah. So okay, now like we do at this time, we we got a little more time left. So, like how we do our, our last minute critiques, on a scale of one to ten, how good was the storyline? T. It was it was a ten. It was a ten. Hmm. It stuck to the script of King of Kong and and uh, Godzilla. Okay. On the tail of one, to, uh, you know, uh, on the scale of one to ten, hey yo, how good was the storyline of the movie? It was an eight because Kong King Kong is turned into a bitch just like the Hulk. <laughs> okay. I thought the storyline was like, you know, about a seven. I'm I'm with Jamie. Me and Jamie feel like the storyline was seven. I just feel like I I wanted King Kong to win. I felt like the battle was kind of like yeah. I didn't. I, I don't know. It was something about yeah. that battle. I think it was like a seven or a six. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, hey yo, how good was the acting? Uh, I gotta get that a six. Yeah, it was just a whole. Yeah. I mean, the dude from Atlanta was funny. The dude from Atlanta was funny. The black dude, he was funny. But it was a six. T, how good was the acting? I, I get an acting an eight. Everybody played their respective roles well. So, and they, they the characters they were supposed to be, they acted it out well to me. So, I give it an eight. Okay. God said she give it a seven. I guess that was just for the storyline. Jamie said a six for the acting. I thought the acting was okay. I didn't, I didn't think nothing like it was. I didn't, I mean, I felt like they was acting normal. I didn't feel like the acting was too, too far-fetched. Yeah. Siobhan said the little girl was the best actor to meet. Yeah. Siobhan, seven. Yeah. Everybody, I guess everybody. The little girl ain't had no damn parts. Huh? She ain't had no parts. The damn oh, little girl ain't had no damn parts. All she, she had to do was this all day. <laughs> I can throw up gang signs all damn day. That is so disrespectful. I guess she yeah. did do the best because she had to act deaf. I don't think she's deaf in real life, so. I, yeah, if that's the case, the acting. Uh, that she is the best. Like people people act deaf. Everybody feel like people the little girl. Deaf anyway. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, On the scale of one to ten. Because. Huh? What you say, Ayo? On the scale of one to ten, uh, how predictable was the movie? T, on the scale of one to ten, how predictable was the movie? Like a nine. 
It was very predictable. Yeah, to me, only like two parts probably had me like confused. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, on a scale of one to ten, how predictable was the movie? It got to be a 10 because I ain't know that he was going to go out like a little business. <laughs> <laughs> on the scale of one to ten, it was predictable to me. I thought it was, I thought it was like predictable. I just seen what's name, like I thought it was ridiculous. I, I thought it was going to win. Ten being, hold up, hold up, everybody. Ten being very predictable and one being not predictable. Okay, so I oh, said wow. right then. I said the right thing. Yeah. Ten being very okay. predictable, one being not predictable. It was predictable to me. I, I knew well, for some reason. a lot of ones. Yeah, yeah. It was they, cause they they probably uh -huh. Siobhan, yeah. she she probably didn't watch King Kong back in the days. Did Jamie watch King Kong back in the days? Oh, one not yeah. She said it wasn't predictable. Okay, like Next hey. but not least, on a scale of one to ten, how good was the movie? Hey yo, on a scale of one to ten, how good was the movie? Siobhan didn't know what was going on. Well, this week, this week we have a special rating because I'm from this place that I'm about to rate it seven. What's <laughs> <laughs> seven? <laughs> I'm going with the mighty seven. <laughs> T on a scale of one to ten, how good was the movie? I give it an eight. Give it an eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I give it on the scale of one to ten. I'm I'm with that. Uh, and Siobhan, I I feel like it was a five. Again, I um I, I don't think I felt like uh, Dot said. She said she felt like he he she thought he was going to escape from the uh, ship. I didn't think that, but I just I just was looking for something else. You know. Um. Yeah, Jane. Yeah, I wanted more. I wanted more. I so th basically, I thought he was going to escape. He broke the, the next one. Huh? I don't think it's gonna be he a next, next chain. He broke the no, next I, chain. No, I think it is. Oh. I think they actually said it. I think they actually listen. Said, huh? Wow. You know, I wanted to touch base back on something Doc said way, way in the beginning when she was like, they became friends at the end. Like that made her kind of mad. The reason they became friends at the end is because Kong gonna go back to Hollow Earth and rule down there while Godzilla watch over us up here and that's how kong is going to become king kong instead of just kong you seen the throne well, that was down there he gonna run it well if you if you if you look at that even that part at the end of the movie did anybody y'all see the last the end of the movie did every, people did y'all walk out when they because if y'all stayed they done a more they done a uh uh what's that called uh a marvel's joint at the end of the movie uh they was down hollow earth and Kong was swinging in the trees, and they was like, "Oh, he coming around," and he ended up coming, and the caption come up, you know, Hollow Earth, and then he ended up swinging all. So they, he's actually in Hollow Earth, and they actually got that at the end of the movie after the credits actually rolled. So if you if you watch that part, you know they 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 was setting it up to for another movie. Sharon says she she think it is gonna be another movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that alone. That's what I, don't, I. That's the part I still don't get. Like you about to rule down there by yourself? Who you ruling? Yeah. But if they make, if they make another, right if they make another movie, maybe the maybe the movie could be like a prequel where it's about Kong becoming King Kong, and maybe he do find his family down there or something like that. Instead of it being about us and them fighting over Earth and stuff like that, but they might do it like that. Like y'all got to remember that that. What what about like the three headed uh what they call the one that had the three heads? Y'all gotta remember the like, name. Yeah, yeah. It's other what the quote unquote titans out there. Like them, them, them two are not the only two. Like it's always it's always been other, you know, other titans or other dragons where they actually fought against each other. These two were just the two biggest names. So we can be, you know, they might could do something a little further, you know. You know something else i don't know well we coming to the end uh, uh, uh of the podcast you know 
thank everybody for chiming in, uh, uh, giving y'all ratings, uh, talking along. Um, we, we're glad everybody stopped by. I hope y'all enjoy it. Next week, we're going to be reviewing the movie called Nobody. A lot of y'all yes, haven't heard about this yes. movie. <laughs> a lot of y'all haven't heard about this movie, and it sounds Man, strange so because good. you say nobody. <laughs> but it just came out in the movie theaters. I think it's on HBO Max. You know, um, it's a real good movie. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even gonna give up the storyline. You know, in it, yeah. Shavon, nah, we see we got people who already watched it, so we ain't gonna give up the storyline. So next movie we doing is uh nobody. You know, we're gonna uh, be getting into that next Thursday, man. But we thank everybody for uh, giving us y'all opinion. Hopefully, y'all watch next week. You know, peace. Tony, right, baby, baby, baby.